an election year and the whole place turn up both in ghana and in the united states of america of course other countries have seen their smoothness level but here in ghana we are just waiting patiently we have some few weeks about two or three weeks to the d-day that is the election day on december 7th but today on info day podcast i am here to give you all the 411 on the u.s election the election going on at the united states or in the united states of america well if you are in america let me hear from you let me know how things are going over there let me know what you think about some of the things that are going on and all of that well some people have shared their views of which i'm going to play for you or i'm going to play to you for you to see some of the reaction from especially our bloggers who are in america and how they are taking their elections and also here in ghana the u.s embassy in ghana also held the breakfast and watch party for the 2024 u.s presidential election this event was to help participants have the opportunity to gain an understanding of the u.s election processes and um yes but then one interesting aspect of this whole election are my panthers and bookmakers yeah my betting people you know when it comes to some of this conversation our people will use the opportunity like we did here <laughs> every opportunity is an opportunity for us to make money or every situation is an opportunity for us to actually cash out but then one interesting thing about the u.s ongoing election is out of the fact that there were huge sums of bets that were placed my name is roland amate i have all the 411 for you here on roland report so if you're watching or listening for the first time don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share this content obviously with others so they can also enjoy and also share your views in the comment section let me hear from you let me know what you think but also don't forget that this show is proudly brought to you by ghana's number one ride hailing up shakzi go on your google play store your app store if you're a driver and you want to make some cool cash why not just download the app today sign up with just 20 ghana cities whatever you earn whatever you get is for you shakzi will be four years this this december and as such we have some good news for you this coming december make sure you watch this space and um as part of activities if you're a rider and you are looking for the most safe secure and affordable ride on the market know that shagzi has got you covered uh well let's enter straight into the news open and close as quickly as possible so like i said the u.s embassy organized a breakfast watch party for the u.s elections here in ghana and um, this is just to make people understand how the processes work as far as the United States election is concerned. You know, here in Ghana, it is about who carries the majority vote and all of that. But I learned in the U.S., it has a different understanding. You can get all the votes or majority of the votes, yet other technicalities may beat you and you may not win. Currently, as it stands, I think Donald Trump is one that is probably leading whatever conversation is going on as far as the election is concerned. I hear he's already declared himself winner or he's already declared victory even before the whole thing is officially announced. Let's watch what Donald Trump said. Watch this video. Shining white when it came down it didn't look so pretty. It was going 10,000 miles an hour and it was burning like hell. I said, what happened to your paint shop? He said, we never made a paint that could withstand that kind of heat. And, uh, but I saw it come down and turn around. And it was, you know, it's like 22 stories tall, by the way. It looks a little smaller than that, but it's big. And it came down and down, and just all that fire burning. And I'm saying, only Elon can do this. It must be an Elon. And I told the story. I told it last night. I had a man on the phone. I had the screen muted. No sound. I was talking to a very important man. Happens to be here. And a very important guy. One of the most important people. And... I would say the country, actually. But, you know, I was president, and now it looks like I was going to be maybe president again, so I figured I could ask him to hold. So I asked him to hold, and because especially because you're going to be president again. That is Donald Trump. But like I told you, one of the interesting aspects of this whole election are my people, my panthers and bookmakers, where it is uh or it is in the news 
that over 200 million dollars worth of life betting was actually placed on this election you know in america there are two political parties or two strong political parties the others there Bejami for Kwan, just like in ghana it is mpp and dc and the others are also playing supporting role well between kamala harris and donald trump in fact the live betting that was going on the live betting that was going on during this election over 200 million dollars were placed on bets and it was live this is ah ye di amount for ni bi di ni ye di amount for ni bi di ni ye di amount for ni bi di over 200 million worth of votes and that was what was placed on live well share your views in the comment section let me know what you think who is your favorite who is who do you think to win even though donald trump has declared victory even before the main announcement do you think he still stands the chance to win or you say we should wait some more and actually get the fine details of who the next president of the united states of america would be well to our brothers and sisters in the u.s like i said if you are there and you know whatever is going on let me hear from you let me know some of the things that um what you think about the elections how peaceful it is some of the things you would want to suggest ghana would do as we also go to the polls come december 7th very soon well share your views in the comment section let me know what you think until then don't forget to subscribe and um are you also placing your bets or between john Mahama and akufad who are you going to place your bet on Share your views in the comment section. Let me know. Is it over 2.5, over 1.5, or you say win win, or you say draw? Until then, my name is Roland Amate. Thanks for spending time with me. It's peace. Bye bye for now.